All right, we'll get out of prison eventually. I mean, I don't know if I would say doing it, like, one second faster is a lot quicker, but it definitely has room to be optimized. I just made the video where, like, hey, this is possible to do. By no means was I saying that I had the fastest possible way of doing it. That's what most of the skips I've been finding have been, just, hey, you can actually do this. And then if somebody else wants to find a slightly faster way to make it happen, then great. I always died on that part while running through the pipes. I'm not sure what you mean. It's possible to die in there? I had no idea. How do you die in there? If you fall to the ground. Oh, like if you gotcha. Yeah, you fall too far. Makes sense. See you in a moment. Last run. Or last two run. Welcome to the stream by the way, I didn't didn't say that. You must be in the Discord because you've seen the videos.
<laughs> That's a good question, Anurin. What is? What are you gonna do? What am I gonna do? All right. So apparently, you can just run through here, Anurin. And he doesn't even notice you, let alone catch you. Which I didn't know until Sharp Z Cat and the Last to Run told me. That saves like 25 seconds to just run past him. Grab this fence, apparently. It's annoying. Alright, well, this won't be perfect because we messed up that right there, but generally speaking, it should be okay. Why are we not. Okay, wow. We lost a lot of time right there between the messed up lever, the messed up switch, and not climbing the uh, chain as soon as we got onto the box. That whole sequence was just slow. I feel like you could make it through there, baby.
21 seconds ahead after prison. Yeah, we lost a lot of time on the boxes. All right. Well, let's focus and execute prison correctly. Yeah, it is, Albert. I think I can shave another, what, what the heck? Another couple minutes off of it tonight if I get a good focused run where I don't make any horrible errors. And preferably have good movement while I'm at it. Grab the key, what the heck? My movement has been really bad this run though. No, that was concerning exactly where I had the screenshot. If you get items past the pipe in the hallway, they don't despawn but they'll still be in the hallway when you get back. Just check the video I made of the ball. You can put them right by the lantern and they don't despawn. I'm not sure where you were trying to get them to not despawn though. You had the lock and cage in the key with you? How is that? We're, we're gonna have to talk about this in like detail when I'm not in the middle of the run, Albert. Like you and me should discuss what you're trying to do here and anything that I know that can help with it. Got stuck in my head in the cutscene and briefly blipped me upward momentarily. It's no problem, it's just, it's hard to focus and discuss strategy. Wow, doing the jump area um, that way that Covert told me saves like 20 seconds. That's impressive. Yeah, this area and kitchen are both very demanding. Oh, why are we not grabbing? Okay. Here, we jump, stay on the cloth, jump, run on the cloth, slide. And he doesn't even notice you. Uh, 
That was pretty much perfectly executed. No, it's very difficult to do a 180 turn and with these controls, I agree. Oh, I just had like a little lag spike there. Come on, buddy, press it. Press the button. There we go. Alright, this is where this section gets really intense. And kind of naturally, I have to use the restroom. Yeah, I tried to do that, Albert. I have a video of me failing. Like, I got an item into the elevator without the janitor, and you can't press the button. The button isn't, like, interactive. Yep, no worries. What the hell? Get get in. There we go. We just like, like got slammed out of the piano room. That was weird. Also, any clue on what... No, I haven't been able to figure out what Markiplier did at all. I've had no luck. What the heck? Oh my god. Neuron, did you see that? I don't know if a neuron's even watching.
It's at the very beginning of the video, Sharp Cat. Oh, I already did that. That's not an accurate exit piano split now. Let go. Now let go. Okay. Markiplier is like just bad at games, and so games don't like him. That's all it is. Thanks, Covert. No, he's not the worst at games. It's mostly just his little shtick. Alright, kitchen. Let's see if we can get everything first try this time. Why can you not grab that? Come on, jump it. There we go. All right, here we go. Try and get this skip. All 
All right, we made it. <sighs> that one is really hard to do. Kitchen has a lot of the hardest skips, actually, in my opinion. We don't know, Sharp. We haven't been able to replicate it. It might be completely useless. This is a time loss. Having to wait on him like that. Uh, I wasn't able to grab it from the right angle. There we go. Yeah, if we could find a way to do that, that would be great. Because this whole segment is really long. Alright, I'm going to try Fast Freezer once. Or should I? Should I try it? Or should I just go with the slightly less fast option? Since we're having such a good run. I'm going to go with the slightly less fast option. Just because our run is so good so far. It's not much slower.
Wow, that's annoying. There we go. Okay, that's what we needed him to do. Somebody followed me, I can't see who it was, but thanks so much. I really appreciate you. Oh, is you, Albert? Thanks a bunch, man. We lost a little bit of time there because we had to, like, finagle with the aggro. <laughs> oh no, Albert. Alright. Wait on the next hook. Which is unfortunate, that's a time loss, but we didn't get up fast enough for that next that last hook. Or maybe we did, but I didn't like react to it being there quickly enough. You collect vintage computers. That's pretty neat. Neat thing to collect. Oh crap. What the heck? Why am I moving so slowly? Oh my god. I like completely lost all of my momentum on that. Okay, well at least we died early in the chase. And lost as little time on that stupid fuck up as possible. Like, I just, I ran into that little, like, carrying pouch and lost all of my running momentum. We actually still save time, because that's how hard Kitchen is. We have a slow skip, and we die, and we still save time. Hey, Malay. Thanks for the luck. I really appreciate it. We're having a pretty good run. We've had, what, one death? There's a couple very important skips coming up in this next segment. Oh, I actually need to just get rid of my waiting for chef split because uh, that's just not a thing anymore. You got your head stuck in the ceiling? That's awesome, Sharp. You'll definitely get it.
Yeah, that's true, Malay. Uh, you have like a hidden stamina meter. But like in that particular segment, it didn't matter because there's no way my stamina would have been empty at that point because I only just started moving. You make some skips, O will not go for at the moment. <laughs> I assume that means I will not go for at the moment. Thanks, Malay, I appreciate it. I've been working hard. Coming up on the two newest and probably most difficult skips, mostly because they're the newest. All right, let's see if we get this. This is gonna be tight. Nope. All right, I'm not gonna try that again. That just needs more practice. I am not nearly consistent enough at it. Yeah, his hitbox has to be fatter than he is. All right, let's see if we can get this. This is the make or break moment. All right, we did it.
he's a fat monster. Yo, his hitbots being bigger than him is incredibly impressive, isn't it? Sharp cats, you're out of bounds and you have control over yourself. Congrats, Blaze Master. That's awesome. Because I've been out of bounds, but I instantly lose control. Just make sure you're recording it so that I can, like, watch it. Don't break the gourd. Okay. You got crushed by air? Three minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> what is your cat doing? Awesome. Why am I just standing here? <laughs> Jumping at the desk and batting at the speaker? That's ridiculous. How do you get past the mirror? Lady, you just sneak past her. Just look to the time, five in the morning. Rip. All right, let's not mess this up. So first she's gonna be behind us. One. Then she's gonna be behind us again. Then she's going to be down this way. going to be down right. And 
then she's going to be directly to our left. And then she's going to be to the north left. Forty six twenty two. With 4622 with two deaths. So I think somewhere around like 4515 should be doable. Maybe like right around 45. Sub 44 would be a really, really good run. Thanks, guys. Snap, new world record by three minutes and 22 seconds. <laughs> I'm busy trying to ungoober my cat. <laughs> Rip. All right, so we might crash here. I'm gonna try to not. Sometimes if I like pause at intervals, it prevents the crash. Beginning the game has two days. Yeah. I'm playing it out because uh, it's a pretty good new PV, and I'm probably just going to put the entire uh, scene uh, in my Twitch highlight. It worked fine for me casually for the first day, but then, like yesterday, um, I crashed on this scene three consecutive times, which was really weird. All right. Yeah, it was really weird. And I. I've been managing to avoid it. I'm not sure if the pausing is helping, but I was pausing at the places where I like started to crash to see if it like helped out my the graphics engine or whatever. Now I just need a good record for 100% and root. Yeah. I mean, there's still some work to be done here. Um, but yeah. I'll speed up the credits. I forgot to save and quit before they started. Can you please just watch the time in the loadings? What do you mean, Malay? Watch the time in the load game. Oh, you want to see what the end game time was? Is that what you're asking?
Malay, I'm not entirely sure what you're asking, but I think you're asking to see the in-game time of this run. So I can show that. I'm sorry that I don't quite understand. Okay, yeah, the in-game time. All right, as soon as I can uh, press back here. There we go. All right, so uh, load game, this one. So the in-game time was 38.51.